what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back and i have to say first of all let me well not necessarily i'm not apologizing i'm just letting you guys know um what's going on guys welcome back to the channel if you're not on that hero status man you sleeping anyways for anyways um things that are going on right now in the anime it's really gotten me to thinking about certain things. Um, recently, since I started watching the um, My Hero Academia, and it's you know, it's just crazy to me how the anime is turning out. Very, very good anime, and I have to say, um, it, it's it's on that level. It's on that level. You know what I'm saying? I can see why a lot of people, you know, consider this to to be taken over as one of the the big three as they call it um of anime replacing the original um big three of anime um in recent years so you know um there's a couple of others out there that i do want to check out i am going to be starting um full metal alchemist brotherhood soon so don't worry about it um i do have the episodes now so um there's no excuse there is going to be a time when i'm going to start that i'm just waiting on some things to be secured first before i start something else um on the channel so last episode we saw one of the most epic episodes in my hero academia i mean it it was one of those episodes that really got to you in the feels <laughs> you know what i'm saying um it really gave me goosebumps because to see all my go out like that it seems like this is the last time that you're going to be able to use the power of all no nah, not all for one for all right beaten up all for one so we also find find out that all might's master or the person that you know is predecessor of one for all um is the grandmother of the guy who is leading the league of villains you know shigaraki or shimura Whatever you want to call him. At this point, he has a he has a real name, but for some reason, that was hidden from us. Intentionally, of course, for this moment when we find out that his actual name is what makes him related. Because we didn't really know. They really could have. They really could have done it the other way, where didn't necessarily have to change his name. You get what I'm saying? Like, I think I think it worked both would have worked both ways i think they could have let us know his real name but not reveal um all might's predecessor's name until later on and we would have put two and two together anyways but you know um the, I, in my opinion there was no need for them to have him have a different name i don't know why he has a different name it could be a different reason why he has a different name could be that he grew up maybe he was adopted who knows you get what i'm saying like i also want to know how comes he uh, another thing how come he ended up by himself and fell into all for one's hands like that's another question too like how did he end up by himself he had a grandma that was a hero so i don't understand how did that happen is another thing um maybe he knew but nobody else knew. Maybe all for one knew, but nobody else knew. I, I don't think she doesn't strike me as the type of person that would that would know she had a grandson and not take care of her. Maybe it's because she died while he stepped in, but she never told All Might about him. You get what I'm saying? Kind of makes sense in a way. <laughs> so the message that All Might left. Um, you know, while he, he buffed up, you know, a little bit there and pointed to Deku. You know what I'm saying? Well, he didn't, he didn't buff, <laughs> he buffed up just, I think it was just his hand. He buffed up 
how many pointed, you know, it was kind of like a double meaning. It was talk, you know, basically is like you're next. Um, they interpreted it as him talking to the villains, but it meant some, something totally different to Deku. Um, as in he's telling him you're next in line. It's time for you to step up. Next time this shit happens, it's you. It's on you. You now have the power of one for all. So um, also saw notice that Bakugo looked at him. I think Bakugo is kind of catching on to what's really going on between the two of them. Um, I think eventually he is going to find out and he's not going to really care. Because right now I think his... Um, as, as I said before... Is he, he reminds me a lot, um, the person who he reminds me of the most, if I should compare him to somebody, as in, as in Bakugo, you know what I'm saying, he's just on this, he, he's, he's on this path, let me not compare, compare, I'm trying my best not to compare anime these days to, um, to Naruto, um, I'm trying not to. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Because they're not the same. So the the thing that I understand about Baku, Bakugo's char character and going into the future, what I think is going to happen is him and Deku is going to be on that number one hero, number two hero status. Um, I think that's, that's what is going to happen. I think Todoroki, I don't know if he's going to fall off. Or maybe choose a different path. I don't. I don't really know. I can't really pin his character down, but he does remind me of um, Neji a lot. You know, I've said this in the past where I said that he reminds me of Neji a lot because it's the same thing. It's 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 kind of like you know brainwashed into thinking something else, and then he makes makes a decision based on what happened to him in the past. You get what I'm saying, and. And then it takes someone, you know, say a Naruto, i.e., you know what I'm saying, Deku, to kind of wake him up. You get what I mean? So it's kind of like the same kind of character arc, in my opinion. Um, so I don't know, you know what I mean? Like the, the relationship between All Might and Endeavor, you can see that it's a very unique you know what I'm saying? Like he he kind of looks up to All Might, but in the same way, it's just like you can't be pathetic because if you be pathetic, then my goal of reaching you, of taking you down, you get what I'm saying, kind of disappears. And so I'm saying he had a very real moment there for a little bit. He really did have a a, a real moment there for a little bit there when he came and saw All Might. And it was like, what is this pathetic bat that I'm looking at? So that was pretty cool. Anyways, we're going to jump into these episodes. Um, I'll do about three or four episodes today, so get ready for that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for listening. As always, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and leave a comment. Also, see you guys for the review. Okay, so here we are, five episodes episodes 50 through 54 yeah 50 through 54 right yeah that's five episodes <laughs> i'm trying to calculate in my head like yes that was five episodes anyways um as always man this this anime also it looks like we stepped into a new season after the all my after the 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 repercussions of them deciding um to do the the dorm thing i think i think the episode after that start started a new season i'm not entirely sure i think we just started either season three or season four i haven't been following with the seasons because i'm just watching the episodes episodically so it's like you know i'm not really concentrating if it's a season three episode one or whatever i don't know um, usually sometimes you have 12 episodes in the season. Sometimes you have 20 something episodes in a season. So it's kind of like, like I don't follow anime by seasons anymore necessarily. Um, because I just kind of watch it like episodically, like, Hey, if it's a, you know, a hundred episodes, it's episode 100, episode 54, whatever the situation is. So that's how I do it. 
so yeah man this these episodes these five episodes really you know at one of the things that um my hero does very good i have to say they do very good of having sli the, the slice of life episodes really do encompass a lot of things that is that is going on it's not just the slice of life it's more of like there's still a purpose to the episode continuing the story um they're not filler episodes i should say so it still has a lot to do there's still a lesson to be learned there's still something to accomplish there's still a fun factor to it just the same so you get an all encompassing i love that that dorm episode where they were having the the room king competition that was pretty cool um you know i don't know maybe they want to keep bakugo um personality still a secret which is i don't understand like you know maybe that's the reason why they said he was asleep he was asleep but i'm saying you know I guess they don't want us to really find like us psychologically watching the show to know what Bakugo is like at home. I don't know what he would be into. It's probably, you know, probably would be, it's probably as, as similar as Deku's room. It's probably as similar. I'm guessing maybe not as extra, but very similar. You get what I'm saying? A lot of All Might posters and stuff. Maybe not as much, um action figures and stuff like that but i think he would be very similar to deku's and that's the, probably the reason why they did not want to show that um anytime you see stuff like that in anime tv shows whatever you're watching it's usually a reason why they don't do it why they opt to make him okay we're not going to show bakugo's room right um because remember we didn't see sue's room we didn't see um <laughs> we didn't see um What's his name? How am I drawing a freaking blank now with this guy? Ah, oh, God, the pervy dude, man. Oh, my God. His name is, like, right here, and I can't get it out. <laughs> but in any case, you guys know who I'm talking about. Pervy dude, pervy little dude, right? We know the reason why we don't see his room, because you know what his room is going to be like. It's going to have probably anime posters you know you know boobs out you, you know it's just it's just gonna be a porn den <laughs> let's just call it that you know what i'm saying so um we know why we didn't see her we we actually at the end of the episode we find out why sue we didn't see sue's room right because she wanted to apologize for what she said back you know what i'm saying why she was telling them she felt sick um was because she she didn't feel good about what she said and that's cool you know what i'm saying so that was cool sue is one of my favorite characters i've never said this before i said it during the reaction um i know i've never said it in a review or anything like that but she is one of my favorite characters in the show and i'm gonna I'm tell you guys why i mean other than the fact that they're making frogs cool frog i hate frogs <laughs> you know what i'm saying i i, I don't like them i think they're gross you know what I'm saying? So they are making frog school for me. That's one of the reasons, right? Also, her character is is um is very simple, but very um I want to say complicated at the same time. Like they, they her character, her moves, everything that she does, but she's also one of those characters that you're always looking out for. You don't want anything to happen to her because she's at the same time she's very brave, but she's a very innocent little girl you know what i'm saying so you kind of root for her when you see her fight because she's always like she is a clutch character like she's that character like you, you you know what i'm saying she shows up she's like okay i'm gonna get this done i'm gonna get you guys out of here blah 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 for every time that she has ever been in a situation she's always been that clutch character so except for when they were they got attacked um in the forest or whatever um, from that last arc so um so yeah man that was pretty cool um what else happened um yes deku and his new moves not necessarily a, a finishing move um our ultimate as they call it not necessarily that but him figuring out that i'm gonna use my legs instead of my arms you get what i'm saying because and that's what i'm saying like i'm here sitting down and i'm like I thought that's that was where everything was heading in in the first place you get what i'm saying with you not being able to use your arms why are you not using your legs you're acting like 
you don't have legs. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I thought what that was the whole purpose of full calling. At, at least that's what I was thinking in my head, that that was the whole purpose of full calling for you to utilize every part of your body. <laughs> like, you get what I'm saying? So you can't use your arms right now. Use your feet. You get what I'm saying? I didn't want to say anything during the episode because I wanted to see where they were going with it or what he figured out, what he's going to figure out. And it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool, the, the shoot style. Um, so pretty cool stuff. Bakugos, um, the, the, the focus shot that he does, the AP shot, I think they call it, armor piercing shot. That was pretty cool. Um, still didn't exactly see what Todoroki came up with for a ultimate move. We saw some others, you know, um, pretty cool stuff. Um, yeah. Is his name Medina? Um, I don't know how much. I can't remember his name right now. His name is like, it's like right there and I can't remember it. But in any case, man, thank you guys so much. Love how everybody's growing this competition that you're doing right now to get their pro pro provisional license um is going because they're going up against other schools you know earlier during my reaction you know in the early episodes i think it was episode 51 was it 51 i think i was talking about them going up against other not necessarily going up against other school but i was comparing them and was like they're the top school that's why they have a festival that's why the other schools really don't I would, it would have been so much better if they had a festival and they're competing against other schools. I was like, why is this the only time when they're going for a provisional license why they go up against other schools? I would think that the festival would have invited other schools to come, but UA is the only one that gets featured. Like, you know, out of sight, out of mind kind of situation where I wasn't even, I, I was thinking that all the other schools were booty. That's what I was thinking. They're so booty they can't compare to the UA students, but they actually can compare coming from different sides, um, coming from different, you know, sides of Japan and stuff like that, east, west, north, south, whatever. Um, so that was that was pretty cool to find out that their schools are they're just as good as UA, but they're just in different regions. So um, so that that's that's dope. That's dope. Um, so that's pretty cool. So, um, um, so definitely, man, I'm looking forward to seeing more from this anime to see how they're going to get out of the situation. Who's going to pass? Who's not going to pass? Because there's no way all I don't think all of them is going to get their license. I really don't think all of them that went all the UA um, class. Um, yeah, I don't think they're I don't I don't think that all of them are going to pass. Um, I'm not going to sit here and choose who I think is not going to pass. But, you know, some obvious ones, I think there there are some obvious ones that are not. I think there's going to be some surprises, of course, of people who you think would pass and they're not going to pass. I think there's I think that's going to happen. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, hope you guys are too. Hope you guys are enjoying these reactions. Let me know in the comment section. Also, leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new. There's more to come. The channel is as slowed down a lot, but that's just because I'm not. Um, I I think that is my fault, really. I think that is my fault because I haven't been uploading consistently as I used to. Um, I think that. I think that's one of the things too with the algorithm, with the YouTube algorithm. You gotta be if you're. If you are um, uploading at a certain rate and then you stop, the algorithm kind of kind of throw you out of the loop <laughs> a bit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I, I'm hoping I get back to that. Um, there's no guarantees that that. You know what I'm saying? I'm having a lot of trouble with different different stuff each week. It's so weird to me, but I'm hoping that I can get back to that place where everything is being uploaded every week consistently for at least the, the, the um for the rest of the year so yeah man i'm working towards it i want you guys to also remember that the fourth week of this month the fourth week of this month will be music week so all i'll be doing is music reactions going forward for every fourth week of every month because there are people on the channel that watch my music reactions they don't watch anime they don't watch tv shows they just want music reactions so i have to cater to those people and make sure that they're satisfied and i think 
that is very fair because for three weeks out of the month i don't do any music reactions one week it's just concentrated on them so thank you guys so much for tuning in as always and i will catch you guys next time for some more my hero make sure you stay on that hero status all right see you guys later